they said it can't be done. If the first mile is the hardest, that is the Overman Pit, just south of the Gold Hill Station. Was it built in 2005? Not if you count the years of doubts, conflicts, studies, decisions, permits, compromises, fundraising, changes, and more doubts. I'm kind of a do person. All you have to say is it can't be done. And that, that's the magic words because everything can be done if you're willing to put your, your time and your effort and your belief in it, you can get it done. Even engineers said, you're not going to get over the Overman pit. And we said, yeah, we have to go out there and fill it up ourselves. We'll get over it. The impossible task was the Overman pit. That's what everybody told us. It took about five years for the environmental impact study to be completed and for the railroad to have a chance to go over the Overman pit. I think there was so many decisions on whether they were going to fill it, whether they are going to just go across the end of it, or if they're going to cross the middle of it, and where they were going to get the dirt to do all of that. Well, the Overman, of course, was the first really big obstacle, and it was a big obstacle, and um, there were probably as much as four or five years of discussions about what to do with that. NDOT had looked at a number of alternatives, including going behind the pit, in front of the pit. Uh, you know, when I saw the Overman pit, I thought, you know, this is going to be an interesting one, how, how this thing is going to get across the Overman pit. And, you know, you look at that and you say, wow, uh, how are you going to do that? You know, frankly, I, I thought it was going to be an impossible feat. What do you plan to do about the Overman pit? I said, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. So we went up to the Overman pit, and I looked down in that hole, and I saw where the old alignment used to run. It was now an open pit mine approximately 400 feet deep from where the old alignment used to sit because we hadn't crossed the Overman pit, and that seemed like a, an overwhelming obstacle. I was shocked because uh, I didn't realize, I had, I, I had no way to understand 300,000 cubic yards of fill. I didn't understand what that was. It, it, it didn't have meaning to me because I never, I never knew how much dirt that was. <laughs> This exciting new DVD will examine those challenges, celebrate the new rails and successful operations 140 years later. Get on board. The dream is still alive. DVD proceeds are for the reconstruction of the railroad through the nonprofit Northern Nevada Railway Foundation.